New economic indicators closely watched by the Federal Reserve suggest an expected interest rate hike in July may not be locked in after all. Now, the Personal Consumption Expenditures Index shows that price easing has, sli has slightly happened for the month of May as consumer spending begins to slow down. The government report found spending rose by just 0.1 percent last month. That's below the 0.2 percent estimate and a big drop from April when spending jumped by 0.6 percent. Well, joining us now is New York Times business reporter Jordan Holman. Jordan, uh... They, the Fed has been trying so hard to bring down spending in an effort to bring down interest rates. What is actually finally changing that this is happening now? So it looks like consumers are kind of now blinking at these higher prices that we've been seeing across the board when it comes to clothes and furniture and all of those things. You know, this time last year, companies were saying we're raising prices because things are getting more expensive for us and we're passing that on to consumers and they're still buying. But now when you see in the data out today and retail sales, people are definitely being more choosy when it comes to buying discretionary items. So Jordan, if that's the case, what's your sense? Are these indicators enough to suggest that the Fed may pause interest rate hikes for a second consecutive month? So investors on Wall Street are still expecting a hike to go through, but maybe that would be the last one. Um, because these changes that the Fed are doing with the hikes, it takes some time to ripple through the economy, similar to what we're seeing with today's set of data. And so even though a hike might come, the effects of what it's going to do with consumers and the slowdown will still take many months. Jordan, we are learning something interesting. Online liquidator Overstock.com is actually considering changing its digital name to Bed Bath & Beyond after acquiring the intellectual property of that bankrupt brand. Uh, tell us what's the thinking behind that move and do you think it's going to work for them? Yeah, so Overstock um, for years has kind of struggled with this idea that they just sell uh, liquidated items and the prices should be, uh, you know, a bargain. And they feel like they've gone beyond that. So the best strategy that executives have right now is just taking this beloved name of Bed Bath & Beyond and using it in their own operations. So Bed Bath & Beyond just filed for bankruptcy in April. It's going through liquidations now. So it never fully went away. So the idea is people still love this brand. How about we as Overstock operate our website and our mobile app with that name? All right. It'll be interesting to see how that unfolds here. A lot of people, you're right, very much beloved uh, that brand, Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, we'll see how that translates for Overstock. Jordan Holman, thank you so much, Jordan, for your reporting and insight. Thanks for having me.